Yep. So hello guys, I have Ayush here with me. Today we are doing a consultation call. He needs some help with his dropshipping store. He started a new store recently and he is currently at product research phase. And as you can see on your screen right now, he has opened his media dashboard and I'll be helping him out in selecting some products he find out. So yeah, let's start. So Ayush, can we proceed? Hello. Thank yes. you so much. So first of all, I'll show you my list which I have mm -hmm. uh, uh, selected with Minya and here are okay. some products. Uh, you can see these products and first of all, oh. I will start with the first product. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you, is so you, so you went to the Minya and you opted for the free plan, right? Yes. Yes. First of all, okay. I have chosen the free plan. Mm -hmm. Okay. And these are the products you have shortlisted, correct? Okay. Yes, Let yes. me see. So this is the first product and I think it's a pet product, right? Perfect. Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. And now you can see the engagement here. Mm -hmm. and the audience, age and gender, etc. And this is the website where it is selling. Oh, it's selling for only six euros. It's quite yes, cheap. Though. Six euros. Oh my God. Yes. That's so quite cheap. Okay. 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 Yeah. And here is the AliExpress link for that. And it's oh. only is for three dollars. Oh, so the profit margin is around 50%. So it's, it's a very low ticket product, right? Got it. Yes, yes, yes. All right. So we can okay. go to the second product now. Yes, this is the second product. Mm -hmm. And here is the website. So let me ask you this. What are the criteria on what basis do you select products? Do you find a wow factor or do you look for a problem solving yes, factor yes, yes. or uh, both? Problem solving is a must and uh, mm. a wow factor is a plus point. So I look for both as well. You look for both. Perfect. Yes. Perfect. So this is the this product. Is okay. $70. Ah. Yes. Yes. It's this is a nice product. Yes. 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 All right. And it's website. And this is the AliExpress link. Wow. Now this is a good profit margin I'm seeing here. $25 for the product and it's selling for $70. So it's more than twice. Yes. Nice. Absolutely. So I want you to shortlist this product from the current list okay. you have. Okay. Okay. I will. I will. Got it. So now you can proceed further. This is the next product and it's a uh, hair detangler. detangler. Oh, okay. So it's for hairs for women. For right. hairs. For women, but, um, and twenty-four dollars selling around twenty-five dollars. Not bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as you can see, the websites are also good. All these stores are shopping stores, right? Yes, yes, absolutely. Perfect. Four dollars. Yeah, not bad. Here also, we are getting a good profit margin with two dollars shipping. Yes. So yeah, this product will yes, cost yes. you around six to seven dollars. Perfect. Yes. So you can also shortlist this product. Well, oh, look, look at this thing. Go back, go back to the store. If I'm correct, sure. yes, yes. Uh, on the on the yeah, on your computers, right? So we can see here it says one plus one free. So we have to see this mm -hmm. that this particular store is selling two units in twenty four dollar price. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for fulfillment cost, that will cost us around easily 10 to 12 dollars so that will keep us with a profit margin of 10 to 12 dollars for us right so it's not it's much right right it's not a lot but yeah it might work okay we but can go a, to this factor that is provided by the uh, seller one plus one is attractive so ah, yes. one can buy no no sure absolutely absolutely it's a very basic looking store right they don't even have a description yes. <laughs> yeah all right so we can go ahead this, this is, is what uh, food product. pacifier all right for babies food pacifier for babies. for babies this is the website this is the product super dots okay oh it's 11 dollar 99 mm, again we have a very small room to play with these low ticket items so i don't recommend usually to use these items and promote them because okay. you know the cost of advertising is increasing on facebook day by day and with such product margins, it's really hard to scale. Yeah, yeah. Uh, mm. Okay. Yeah, I think we can leave this product. Four dollars 
those. Yes. Yeah, no, no. Then this we can leave this product. All right, we have this, this one here. This is lint remover. Okay, okay, lint remover. Okay, got it. Basically, oh. it's a Switzerland site. Oh, I see, I see. Mm -hmm. Well, the thing with, with this product is it's a seasonal product, right? It will mostly sell to those countries who have winters all the time, or it will sell only when the winter season is there, right? So it's a seasonal product, and right now we are heading into summers. So I don't think this is a very good product to sell right now. So we can discard this product. Okay, okay. okay for sure. Perfect. And this is a baby product as well. And it's a baby, baby product. Not, I will say for kids. For kids. Okay. So what exactly it is? Let's see. Okay. It's. Let me show you the website. It's a lab desk. It's a lab desk. Okay. $70. Okay. Not bad. And the store is also looking good. Yeah. The store is good. Not bad. Basically, the problem mm -hmm. it solves it. It maintains the posture and helps the kids to uh, learn more. Oh, wow. That's nice. That's actually a good niche. Parenting niche is evergreen. So, can we see the supplier you got for this particular product? Yes, yes. This is the product. On AliExpress, it's around $33. $33. All right. So for $33, we are selling it and we have free shipping. And it is selling for what? $50 or $60? $70. $70. Wow. That's amazing. That's amazing. So yeah, we can shortlist this product too. I will recommend you to type all these shortlisted products in a notepad or you write down them somewhere so that we have... Uh, okay, I will, I will select them and uh, note down on the Notion app. Perfect, perfect. So we know what products are we are shortlisting. That's great. Okay, go ahead. This is another kid's product. Ah, okay. Basically, it's uh, magic copy books. Oh, so I see it's selling in bundles. Okay, so bundle is the main thing here. Perfect. Four book bundle for $30. Okay. And here it's the Aliexpress link. And it's the link. Got it. $9. Hmm. Okay. Okay, I got it. Well, the thing is, uh, the problem with books is, books can be replicated very easily. See, what we are trying to find and sell is the products that normal people cannot find nearby them, right? They cannot find in Walmart or on eBay or on Wish.com, right? So I think yeah. this product is easily available near everybody. So I think we should discard this product. Okay. okay. Yes. Um, here hmm. oh, I've seen this product, right, right, for sure, will you? It's a turbo shower. Yeah. So the thing with this particular product is it's saturated. It's oversaturated. Okay, okay. Right. I've seen like a ton of dropshippers selling the same product on a very good branded okay. store, one product store. So we should not compete okay. on this product at least. Yeah. So discard. And it's a pet product. Pet toy. Okay. It's a flying oh, saucer ball. Yeah. 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 I've seen this product too. But yeah, this product sells. Fortunately, this product sells. So yeah, let's see the supplier you got. Here is the supplier. Ah, not bad. So nine dollars for fulfillment cost, selling it for thirty. We have a decent profit. Nice. Yeah, we can shortlist this product. Okay, okay. And here is another pet product. Another pet product. Oh, a lot of pet products. The okay. ball cleaner. Number one paw cleaner. So, okay, so by looking at the store, we can see it's not a one product store, absolutely. And $25 is for selling price. Can I see the supplier? Yes. Here is the supplier. This is a supplier, $5. Okay, yeah, it's not bad. But yeah, we can maybe shortlist this product. No problem, we can shortlist this product. Because of fulfillment. Oh, oh, let me let me see the shipping. Let me see the shipping first. It's five dollars. Shipping is also five. Oh, yes. so now it's around eleven dollar for fulfillment cost, and it's selling for twenty five, right? 
Ooh, yes, yes. now this is a hard decision to make. For now, I'm shortlisting this product. Uh, later on, we will be doing more checks. Okay. 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 So these so products I got. So we these are products. all the products we have, right? Yes. Yes. Perfect. So can I see only the shortlisted products, and can we remove the discarded products from the tabs you have? Yes. Yes. Just to make sure you don't do anything wrong. This was the shortlisted one. Mm -hmm. This was leather. This was another basic product. And yeah, was discarded one. Right. It was also discarded. Discarded. So, did you like Minia? You found any value in Minia? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Minia is great. Right? Yeah. That's why I tell my audience to get this particular software and they think I always promote. <laughs> but no, yeah, it's yeah. genuinely yeah. good. It's all data driven, it's AI driven, and it really helps. Yes, yes. Perfect. So we have all the shortlisted products here. Yes, yes, we have. Okay. So it now what I want you to do is uh, go to Google right now okay and search for google trends okay okay now let's yeah just open the first link perfect oh you use bing <laughs> nice <laughs> perfect so go to the very first product you found yeah very first one. perfect so this is the product we first shortlisted correct Okay, yeah, yeah. so the this product is basically a cervical pillow, right? So just copy this term cervical pillow because this is the product type and just copy and paste in Google Trends. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure the country is United States. This, that's correct. And just from past day, change it to last 12 months. Past 12 months, okay. Oh, so we can see the interest for this product is quite consistent. People are searching for this product and you can see the graph is going up. So it's a good product. It's a good product. Okay. So this also pass our second test. Perfect, perfect. Okay, so we have to keep it. Right, right. We can keep this product. Now let's go to the second product and do the same thing. Copy the product type or product name, what we have. Uh, so for this, so... it's... Uh, let's see, the name is Ultra Detangler. Of course, nobody searches for Ultra Detangler. Just search for Detangler. Or maybe Hair Detangler, whatever. Right. Let's see. Oh, so new... Okay, so this is a new graph in front of us. And we can see the... Again, the interest is quite consistent but we can see at the end the graph is going down right can you yeah, please yeah. point at that particular area right yes, so the graph is going down that means the opportunity is getting less in the future for this product and the okay. product price was can we go to the competitor website and see what was the product yeah, price so yeah so it's not a lot and we didn't had a good profit margin too so we can discard this product Okay. So Perfect. Now let's do the same thing for the third product. This desk. Okay. So just search for every, just search for lap desk, lap desk. Remember, we have to search by the product type, not by the product name, because everyone has unique product names, right? Okay. Okay. Wow. So look at this. Again, a very consistent graph. All the products we have here are very consistent, not seasonal till now because you already eliminated those. And you can see that the graph is going up, which is actually good, right? Yeah, yeah. Perfect. So I think we can keep this product and the price is also good. So we can keep this product. Let's move forward. Okay. So the next one is this flying saucer. Okay, now the thing is with this product, 
the type is not written here okay but you can see the very first two words is pet toy so this particular product comes in the category of pet toy so we can search for that pet toy right let's see again very consistent interest right and it's going up to very good graph so yeah we can go with this product too so we eliminated one product right now we are left with how many only three products wow that's great so initially how many product did we have initially we were having 13 13 right yes wow see from 13 now we are left with three now again with this three we are going to check further now i want to go to mini again go to the first product on minia and open the facebook ad click on c post c post yeah right there okay with me it's everything very simple right click on buttons and boom boom yeah, you definitely. have all the data in front of you perfect now let me let's just scroll this ad okay so this ad looks like a drop shipping ad by the copywriting right uh -huh. yes. this is a good and the ad is also okay -ish. we can see that the resolution of the ad is not perfect we have black vertical lines going at the borders so yeah there is absolutely a room for improvement and if we see if we go to the comment section of this post we see what the people are saying about it is the king size okay great pillow great service okay that's a good comment these pillows look like they will solve some problems okay is this a firm pillow i usually have too wow order the way nice and easy okay i saw the ad i was impressed by the shape i was similar and small and uh, it's great i'm still loving it so yeah people are saying good things about this product right yes. and they are curious about this product so that's also a good sign so i think we should keep this product and yeah let's do the same thing with another product go to their facebook post and let's see what exactly people are saying about the product Again, as same drop shipping ad, same copywriting. So again, the ad has a different resolution. Okay. Yes. I think why these ads have this resolution is because these drop shippers simply copy the ad from TikTok and they paste on Facebook. <laughs> they don't do any work on this ad. They don't even change the resolution. They are just simply picking the ads from TikTok and placing in Facebook, and they are earning money, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy it's crazy so yeah we can uh, scroll down and see the uh, comments i need this literally another great grand baby okay i need one of these very nice again i love mine yeah so the comments are good for this product too perfect so we can keep this product too and let's move on to the next product Again, a drop shipping Again. ad. Same, same resolution. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we can look at the comments. These are on Amazon. Oh, see, see, okay. The first comment says these are on Amazon for seven quid. My dogs would love that. That's awesome. He would love that. I got it and bring it on Monday. Oh my God. I bought one of these. And, and okay, 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 see this. And then it stopped working. So this is the comment which people are doing, right? The first comment was people are finding the same product on Amazon. The second comment is it stopped working. Can we see some more comments? I've got this for Buddy. I have to play with him. Okay. Don. Oh, look at this. I'm thinking my Scottish Terriers would have that tone of first playing with it. So people are pretty dicey for this product, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and the next comment says, I got one for our dogs. It popped up once now, it rolls and the lights work. Okay. Thought your dogs would. Oh my God. Okay. Hmm. My doxy boy is scared of it. So we have a very mixed kind of reaction of people, right? And the product price is yeah. how much? It's around 29.9, 30 dollars. 
around thirty dollars. So, and how much profit margin do we have? The supplier link. Uh, we are getting this product for around eight dollars, eight point nine dollars, right? So, hmm. okay. Now let's do one thing. Go back to the media of this particular product. Okay. And let's just scroll down a little bit. Yes. And let's see what the media says about this product. Okay, so we can see the engagement is increasing day by day. Uh, and yeah. till 24 March, today is 25. And it's increasing, uh, today is 26. And it's increasing day by day. Okay, if we scroll down more, what does it say? The, it says that the audience age is 30 to 40 particularly male audience is buying it and the ads run away. This is what we have to look. The first ad was seen on 18 March and then last seen on 24th March. So the ad is still running, I believe. Um, hmm. uh, well, this is a hard decision to make because, and also you don't have all the data on your mini account because you are using the free plan. Yeah. Yeah, if you had the premium one, we would have gotten much more data from this. But anyways, so what do you say, uh, Ayush? Should we proceed with this product or not? What does your Basically, instinct say? I do not uh, feel to go with this product. <laughs> you don't feel, okay. Can you just scroll down in the store? Can we see the store, the computer store, how they are selling it? Frequently bought together. Hmm. Yeah, you can scroll a little faster too. Okay, so by looking at this store, uh, I mean, yeah, there is definitely a room for improvement, right? Yes, absolutely. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, no reviews. No reviews. <laughs> so, no reviews. Um, well, I would say that we sh might test this product because see, oh. we have a mixed reaction of people, right? Um, mixed reaction doesn't always mean that the product is bad. It could also mean that the yeah. supplier this particular store is using is not very good and it's cheap, right? So I think we should at least try this product once. So now we have three products, right? Out of yes, yes. Uh, yeah, out of three, two are very we are very confident, right? With the two products. Can I see yes. those two? This one and this one. Okay, now let's see the competitor stores of all these products. Let's see if there's a room for improvement for these products or not. So this is the first product, the surgical pillow. Okay, let's go down. Okay, yeah, so description is okay -ish. Mm hmm Oh my God, there is a lot of information on the description. Well, <laughs> nobody read this much of description, right? People need most information in the shortest time possible so they have reviews yeah. at least okay mm. okay so we can go up and they're also using a live chat they have the policies everything going on and can we just scroll up okay mm. yeah just go go straight up Okay, so the thing is, with these products, um, I think we, okay, we have seen the ad of this product too, right? Yes. Okay, so the thing with these type of products is sometimes Facebook don't allow to sell these products because you see these products kind of have some medical treatments, right? Yeah. yeah. And medical. medical products are prohibited on Facebook. We cannot sell. But the thing is, this product doesn't directly goes to medical and everything. It depends on what description you have on your product, on your store and on your copywriting, on your ad copywriting, right? If we see the ad copywriting of this particular product, um, can you please go to the post? Yes. Yes. Yeah, so it's, it doesn't, okay, it says our revolutionary pillow is finally back in stock. So you can see, there is no way it says that it is going to relieve your pain or whatever, right? Yes, so yes. that's a good thing. So we can do the same thing and we can bypass that thing. But yeah, there is always a risk. 
but pro sleepy yeah. now the thing is with these type of products you have to make a little bit of niche or maybe we can say one product store type because people will then uh, trust you more and they will be able to spend on your store more because when they see that yes this particular store has this product only and this is this this is the specialty this is what they are selling so you can see the store which is selling it right now its name is pro sleepy right so it looks kind of professional yes. So yeah, this product is not general very general much for general product. store. It's for niche or one product store. But still we can try to sell it because till now we have all the green signals. Okay. Now let's go to the second product we have shortlisted. This one. Okay. Now this is a good product yeah. because this product. Now, now one thing I will see. Okay. Okay. Look at this. This product says Genion, right? Now they have branded product. If we see their store name is Genion Kids and the yeah. product also says Genion. Can we see the supplier link for this? Yeah. This one. But this one is not from Genion, I guess. Ah, so this one is not from Genion. Right, right. Because there is no image where it says Genion. All right. Yes. So, hmm, I think, yeah, we can still sell this because, yeah. Because as long as there is no logo on this particular product we are going to ship, it's all good to go. Just make sure the product we are shipping doesn't have any logo or any brand on it. Okay. 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 And yeah, if we see the reviews on this product, is there any reviews? Yeah, I'll show you. There's a lot of information. Hmm. The store is built very good. Oh my God. Okay. So, so the thing is what I believe with this product, the room for improvement and room for opportunity is kind of less because okay. it's already been branded, right? There is already a player for this product who is selling the product with brand with a one product store. Um, so I believe the opportunity is not great. So we can kind of leave this product for now. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So just leave this product for now. And now we have the two products with us. Yes. Which one, is, is this one also. Yes. So, right. We are also going to test this product. So one product is from the pet industry and the second one is the cervical pillow, the pillow industry, right? Cervical pillow. Yes. Okay. Now, of course, these two products are of different niches. So what we are going to do is start a general store. And in that general okay. store, we are going to add these products. Now, of course, nothing is guaranteed that they will sell, but the chances of them selling are very high as compared to if you do research by yourself, right? Okay. Okay. Yeah. So we can add these products in our general store. Do you have a general store ready right now or you will be creating it? No, no, I have a store ready. You have a store ready. All right. So we will be seeing the store in the later video. But for now, I think the products research is kind of done. Uh, I will say you should do a little more product research and try to find three to five more products which you think will sell. And yeah, okay. we will be then testing these products out. Okay, sure. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Do you have any doubts? Do you have anything else you want to ask? No, no. All the doubts are clear and I'm good to go now. You're good to go now. You have two products. And how much budget are you planning for these products? I'm uh, expecting to make a budget of 50 to $70, I guess. For one product or for both? For one, for one. For one. Okay, that's a good one. Well, so we see that the first product is selling for $70 and there is a simple kind of rule which is not hard written. It's a simple rule we made that whatever the product price is, whatever the product you are selling for, you should be at least yes. spending that amount on Facebook ads. Okay. okay. So for example, this product selling for $70. You should be selling you should be spending at least $70 on Facebook ads before you make a solid decision. Of course, there are a lot more factors with that, and I will be telling you that also in the future. But for now, I think that's pretty much it, right? Okay.
So now we have these two products and we believe there is a room for opportunity in both the products. The first product is Pro Sleepy. Of course, there is a branded store in this particular, um, for this particular product. But the thing is on the product, it doesn't have any logo or does it? No, I guess. Oh, there is a logo. There is a logo. There is a logo right there. I see. Logo, yes. this. Yeah. There is a logo. Just Pro Sleepy. So, yeah, so they have kind of did this again branded store. Oh, hard to compete. You see, I guess, uh, on mm -hmm. this one we do not have on AliExpress. Okay, on AliExpress we do not have any. Oh, again, this is a um, tough product to sell because uh, again, first of all, it's a medical product. The second thing is somebody has already branded it and he's already selling, and hmm. Can I see the store again, the competitor store? Yeah, can you just yes, go? No. So they have reviews too and hmm. yeah, of course there is a room for opportunity, room for improvement on this particular store. But, uh, but the thing is, but the thing is, if you just see carefully, there is not much wow factor in this product, right? It's more oh, of a yeah, problem yeah. solving. Yes. Right. Uh, well, Ayush, what can you do is try to find at least three to five products more who have more of a wow factor than problem solving. Because these products, first of all, it's a medical product. Again, as I repeating, the second thing is they already have a branded store. So we are simply uh, competing with a store who's already selling well, right? He will outshine, outrank us any day, any time. Correct? Okay. Yes, absolutely. Right. So these products are hard to sell. And what the other product we have is the pet toy. Can I see that? Your pet toy, yes. Flying saucer board. Right. So, okay. Now this one is a good product till now. Okay. The, the, those two products whose reviews were good, the problem with those are they have a branded store, right? They have a one product branded store and they are doing good in the industry. They have good reviews. They have a good store. They're already selling and I don't think there is much room for opportunity. We have two products shortlisted now and I believe that yes. one of them is also a branded product, right? The first one. Yeah, yeah. So I don't think we should go with that product because of multiple reasons I already told you. The second one, which is this pet toy flying saucer ball is a good one, okay? And now what I want you to do is put this particular product into your general store and also find at least seven to eight more products with wow factors. Okay. okay Try okay. to find products with more wow factors where people will be amazed where they see your product or they, when they see your ad, they will be like, wow, I haven't seen something like this ever before. And I need to buy that right now. Because that's when the most impulsive buys will happen. And Facebook is all about impulsive buys, right? Okay, I understand. Right. So, yeah, you should go on Minia. And uh, on Minia, I believe you have all, more credits left, right? Yes, yes. How much credits do you have currently? Oh, okay. Yeah, you have... Uh, oh, no, that's fine. I you have, have 560 credits. You have 560 credits. Not bad. Now you have to scroll down on the left side. It shows how many you have used. Okay, you can see it's, oh, it's a silver member. Oh, anyways, so you have 560 credits, right? And can you yes. please uh, see me? How, can you please show me how do you find products? How do you look for them? Basically, the exact... I go for Facebook mm -hmm. ads. Okay. And here, I select the e-com platform as Shopify. Mm -hmm. language as english okay and countries are selected united states just the likes, um, I... if you just scroll up a little bit uh, is there a preset filter because in my mini account uh, scroll up scroll up uh, okay so there is no preset okay i think it's in the premium plan anyways so this is what you do right any more filters you choose yes. like yes i also increase the likes to okay. 1k at least to 1k at least okay and you have the yes. shopify you have the language you have the country all right no problem and what about the scene date uh this 
is mm-hmm. around one week. Okay. So what you can do, I believe, if you click on this weekly winners, you can see that quick query. Yeah. If you just click on it, it automatically applies all these filters. Okay. 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 So you don't have to do that manually by yourself. You can just scroll down. Yes. Now look at them. Okay. So they are the first product you already shortlisted and there are a lot yes. more products. You just scroll down. Hmm. Look at this, the, this particular product. Oh my God, I need this. If you just click on the ad, just click on the play button only. Yeah, that's pretty good. Just see the, oh, look at this. Now this is a wow factor, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what I'm talking about. This kind of products sell more on Facebook. Okay. Okay. This is what we are looking for. Got it? Okay, I got it. Yes. And what else you can do is if you can come to the uh, left side, which is TikTok ads. You can also try to find some TikTok products and you can try to sell them on Facebook. Okay. 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 Yeah. This is also a very good method used by people. Exactly. You just click on weekly winners. Oh, it says. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because TikTok ads is um, not in the free plan, I believe. Right. Well, this method really works. This is what I did in my last, uh, to find my last winning product. I simply went to Minia TikTok ad section. I found a product. I opened that product on in a new tab, added that to my store. And when I started selling it, boom, I started getting sales from day one. Okay. okay. This is what I did. Okay. So the whole purpose of this video was just to give you a taste of how do you find products Okay. And okay. how will you continue to find more products for your store? What mentality you need to have, what checks you will do in the future when you try to find new products, right? This is everything. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. So yeah, that's pre- pretty much it for this video, I believe. Right. Uh, do you have any other questions? Yes. No, no, no questions. And thank you so much for helping me out to, to make me understand how to find a winning product. Perfect. Most welcome, Ayush. Anytime. Yeah, I will be helping with your store too and with your marketing too. But we have to complete this stage first, right? So, yeah. Yes, yes, absolutely. Perfect, perfect. So, yeah, I'll look into this again in the future. And let me know when you need my help. Okay, sure. All right. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you.